Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. These stretch band exercises will help increase your strength and flexibility. Each exercise has a scripture on what God's Word has to say about fear. You will only need a light stretch band. Let's get started with the warm up. Go ahead and just hold the band and move side to side. We want to warm up the lower body and we want to warm up the core and the upper body. Let's just start to move those arms from the hip and start to breathe. Bring those arms up and reach. Do a little side lean here and keep breathing through this. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Go ahead and place your feet on the band. We're gonna start with a basic squat. So you can hold at the handles, just lower yourself down and lift right back up. Again, lower down, sit back through your hips and your glutes. There is no fear in love, but perfect, God's perfect love casts out all fear. If you wanted to progress this, you could just take the band and then just bring it up a little bit. Again, sit back in the hips. Keep the core engaged and breathe through this one. You're doing fantastic. Again, we're working through the lower body on this one and we're using a little bit of resistance with this band. Just go at your own level and your own pace. Do what's best for you. I know you're doing a great job. I'm so glad you're here exercising with me. The next one, you're gonna tighten up on the band just a little bit. You're gonna separate the feet more, give yourself a soft bend through the knees, and then just simply hinge forward and then stand right back up. Again, to hinge forward and then back up. You should feel this in your hips and in your glutes, in the back of the legs. I sought the Lord and He delivered me and He delivered me from all of my fears. I love that one. As we seek God, He does deliver us from all of our fears, our stress, anxiety, as we look to Him. Fear is not from God at all. We know it's from the enemy of our soul. So address it as soon as it crops up in you, whatever it is. All right, keep moving through your hips. You're doing great out there. Keep the navel to the spine. Mouth open to breathe, getting a lot of oxygen in our lungs. Now go ahead and hinge forward. Again, you may want to tighten up a little bit on that band. You're going to bring your elbows straight back behind you, then arms straight down. So this is a double arm row. Just maintain your position. The fear of human opinion disables us. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> but God protects you from that, right? As we trust in Him, um, He protects us from that. I think so many times um, we do seek other people's opinions or maybe we um, look to them too much and what they think about us. We just need to look at what God has to say about us, right? All right, keep moving through this. This is a double arm row. You should feel this in your mid back and shoulders. The belly is in. You're exhaling as you're bringing those arms back. Go ahead and stand all the way up. Bring the feet in a little bit. I like this one. It's a little different. It's standing rotations, just side to side. So hold the handles. Be strong. Isn't that good? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So memorize that one and tell yourself, be strong, be courageous, don't be afraid. God is with you. He goes before you. He's with you right now. He's with us as we're exercising. Now this exercise is for the obliques for the core, and it's pretty simple to do, but I can really feel this using this resistance 
of the stretch band. Shoulders stay down. Think about your posture and your alignment. Last one, go ahead and step one foot out and bring one foot to the front with a stretch band. On this one, what we're gonna do is hold our position right here and alternate bicep curls. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in God, whose word I praise and God I trust, I shall not be afraid. Tell yourself that. I will not be afraid in God I trust. There's so many beautiful scriptures in the Bible that address fear. So obviously, God wants us to address it, right? He wants His perfect love to cast out all that fear and all that stuff that tries to come against us. All right, you should be feeling this in your biceps a little bit and definitely a nice little stretch in your legs. Just keep moving through this. And again, you wanna check your posture and alignment. Last one, let's go ahead and switch out. Place the opposite foot out front, bring the other leg back. Now this is a tricep press. So what we're gonna do is just press back, just simply press back. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, here's the key, pray. Pray and pray some more <laughs> and give thanks to God. So if you're feeling a little anxious today, the key is pray. Conversations with God. Talk things over with Him and let Him know about what's going on in your life. And sometimes I'm just like, Lord, do you see what's going on here? I need your help now. Or this is bothering me, Father, I'm so anxious about this. Father, I need you in my life. Just cover me, Lord. All right, one more time. You did a great job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our body with more stretch band exercises. Go ahead and position the band back behind you and then tighten up on it just a little bit. We're gonna do some chest flies with some front lunges. So go ahead and step forward and then come back and go into a chest fly. So we're alternating our legs and just do what you can do. Go at your level and your pace, engaging your powerhouse muscles for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you have received the spirit of adoption. Isn't that good? God adopted us into his family, right? And so you should feel so secure in God's arms. He is with you. He watches over you. So continue moving those legs, just one at a time. Take your time, engage yourself, and think about your posture. One more. This next exercise is a curtsy. So you're gonna step back and then go out into a chest fly and then switch out those legs. The Lord, did you know this, is on your side? So we should not fear, right? God is on our side. So don't fear, don't worry about it. God is with you. Again, he watches over us, he hears us, he understands us better than we understand ourselves. And he loves us so much. He doesn't want us to live a life of fear, not even one day. So if you're feeling a little fearful today, put your trust in God, read these scriptures, meditate on them, and get them down in the heart so you live out the word of God, right? All right, shoulders are down. Let's do that one more time. Now we're gonna bring the stretch band to the front. Kind of double up on it here, hold it in your hands. And this is a lat pull down. So we're gonna bring the band up and then simply bring it down and pull it out just a little bit. Let's do that again, bring it up, pull it down. This time we're going to do the reverse lunge. So bring it up, reverse lunge back, and then set back together, opposite leg. The Lord is my light and my salvation, right? Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So God, you are our stronghold. We thank you so much that you cast out all of our fear as we place our trust in you. Let's do that a few more times. And one more. Good job. Go ahead and place the band down. We're going to step on it with both feet. And on this one, what we're going to do is cross the band and simply bring that band up. So you're alternating your arms, single arm row. Very nice. Keeping the belly in. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. And that's a healthy fear. That's when we have so much reverence for the Lord. We want to please Him. Um, sort of like, you know, people who have really good parents who love them so much. And as a child, you just want to do what your parents are asking you to do. You just want to do the right thing. All right, keep lifting up and breathing through this. And you should be able to feel the muscles in the mid back and throughout your shoulders and your arms one more time. All right, nice job. Now, just step on the band with one foot. And we're going to go ahead and go into a reverse lunge and then a bicep curl. So go ahead, step back, and we're working our biceps and that one leg at the same time. If we confess our sins, we should all be confessing our sins to God. He is faithful and He is just to forgive us of our sins. And here's the really neat part. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We have a clean slate every single day. Let's continue um, bringing the leg back, working the biceps, working that lower body. Just a few more times. We're breathing, extending, and reaching. One more. Let's go ahead and switch out the legs. Same thing on the opposite leg. It's a reverse lunge. This time, just bring the band out in front of you. Reverse lunge and then press out. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. That's a good one. Fear not. God is the one that helps you. Tell yourself that. And I say, Teresa, fear not. You're not going to allow fear to come into your life today. God is with you. He's right here with you. And he also has already gone before you. He already knows what this day entails. So you just live it out, trusting in him, leaning into him. Two more of these. One more. Nice job. Now, step on the band with both feet. I love this one. This is one of my favorite exercises. It's just a basic side lane. Just side to side, reach down the leg. And you should feel this in your core, in your obliques, those arms, getting a great stretch. God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord is my strength and my song. Do you ever just sing to God and just praise Him and just say, Lord, I love you. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Father, that I don't have to live in fear anymore because I used to, but not anymore. I've decided, nope, God's love is so much better to live in than unhealthy fear. One more each side. You did a great job. Coming up next, we will continue with more stretch band exercises on Shape by Faith. Go ahead and step on the stretch band with both feet and place the band in one hand. Bring it up towards your shoulder. 
All right, take a deep inhale, lower down in a squat, and then exhale, extend up. I love doing the press with the stretch band. It just brings something different into this exercise. We can confidently say, we can confidently say this, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear. So say that, say that with me. The Lord is my helper, I will not fear, I won't. I'm trusting in God, I'm walking in His love, I will not fear. I used to carry a lot of fear around with me when I was a child, teenager, and uh, carried it over into my adult life. But you know what? Years ago I decided, nope, no more fear. Last one. Go ahead and switch out the band, step on it, and what we're gonna do is place it in the opposite hand and the same exercise here, bring it up by your shoulder, squat down, and then overhead press. Good, do not be anxious about anything. Don't be anxious about tomorrow. So think about where you're at right now. Be present with God in the moment. Don't miss opportunities He has for you today by worrying about tomorrow, right? All right, breathe through this. Exhale as you come up and inhale as you lower down. Feel that in your shoulders, in your legs, and also through the glutes and the hips. One more of these. Nice. All right, this next one, go ahead and step on the stretch band with both feet. Now on this, you're just going to simply press both arms back. So it works the triceps and the shoulders. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the right time, and there will be a right time, and that's God's timing, He will exalt you. Cast all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. He really does. I mean, Jesus went to the cross for you and for me, right? So He's already paid the price for our anxious thoughts and our fears. He's already got those covered. They're placed under the blood of the Lamb, right? So remind yourself of that. One more. This next one, just step on the band with one foot. And what we're gonna do is step back and go into a standing lunge. We're gonna bring the band up just a little bit. We're gonna pulse down. So go down one, two, three, and lift right back up. One, two, three, and up. You can choose to take the leg and lift it back or keep the foot down, all right? That's totally up to you. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul, right? See, God knows us so well. He created us, right? But He created us in His image to be um, love and uh, to not be anxious or fearful. And He's given us a way to do that through Him. One more time. Nice job. Go ahead and switch out. Step the opposite foot on the band, the other leg back. Pulse down one, two, three, and lift up. Again, you can choose to lift that back leg it's a nice exercise right there, but you don't have to. You shall not fear them. Nope, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you. God fights for you. He's out there. He has his angels, his warring angels out there to protect you and fight for you. So going down for three, two, one, and back up, keeping the legs Nice and extended back there. Checking on posture and alignment. And remember, navel to the spine. God with us through this exercise segment and all throughout the day and the night. One more. Now take the band, just bring it back behind you again and tighten up on it. 
Going back to one of my favorite exercises, <laughs> I can't help myself, the curtsy with the fly. And one of my favorite verses, and I say this every single day, probably a gazillion times a day, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who gives me a strength. He's the one who strengthens me and you, right? We can't do it on our own. There's no way I can. But through Christ, we can do all things. He makes all things possible to those who believe. The shoulders are staying down. You should feel this in your legs, across the chest, in that mid back. One more. Nice job. Take the band, stand on it, both feet. Hold the band up. Feet are separated just a little bit, and then rotate side to side. Noticing the obliques, the core. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So run to God. Let Him cover you. Let Him hold you close. As we draw close to God, He draws so close to us. All right, still feeling this in your waist and definitely through the arms with the stretch band and noticing that oxygen level as you breathe, pressing back in the heels just a little bit. A few more of these. Last one. Great job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. Go ahead and step on the stretch band with both feet and take the arm across your body, bring it in towards you, and then you're gonna kick back this one arm. Just kick it straight back there, working on your tricep muscles. The angel of the Lord. I love that, the angel of the Lord. That tells me there's an angel of the Lord. In camps around those who fear him and he delivers them, that's good. God's angels are here on earth. They're here to protect us. They're here to go out and fight for us, right? And they're great encouragers. So just know that God's angels are here for you and for me. So we're working through the tricep muscles, keeping the shoulders down and then hips square to the front. Let's do that one more time. All right, this next exercise, you're gonna bring the band up. You're gonna take this arm back behind you, hold on to the band and bring your elbow in. It's a little bit more challenging. It's a tricep extension. If this bothers your shoulders, go ahead and return to that first exercise doing the kickback. The friendship, the friendship, have you thought about that? The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear Him and He makes known to them His covenant. That lets me know and it lets you know that God is our friend. We can also think of Him as our Father, right? And our Deliverer and our Savior, but He is our friend and he's out there for you, and he's right here with you. So we're working the tricep muscles. You should really feel this. I'm telling you what, this stretch band feels super strong in this exercise. Let's do that one more time. Nice job, let's come out of it. Let's go ahead and switch. So we're gonna switch arms. We're gonna bring it over here and step on the band. And we're gonna bring that arm across and start to kick back. All right, I feel those tricep muscles right there. The Lord will fight for you, right? The Lord will fight for you. You only have to be silent. Now, how hard is that? <laughs> Sometimes it's hard for me to be quiet and to be still. I wanna move and go out there and get going and maybe voice my own opinion that I shouldn't be voicing, right? But God will fight for us. We only need to be still. And sometimes we just need to be quiet before Him and let Him be God and us be us, right? 
one more time. All right, same thing on this arm. So you're gonna bring it up, take this arm back behind you, hold on to it, bring your elbow straight out there and go into that tricep extension. Lean not your hearts into trouble, right? So don't lean your heart into trouble. Believe in God, right? Believe also in Jesus Christ, His Son. Believe in God, believe in Jesus Christ, believe in His Holy Spirit. All right, here's a tricep extension, and again, with the stretch band, I can feel this so much, can't you? Keep breathing and extending and reaching. And I'm just so glad that God is out there fighting for us and that He has His angels here on earth for us. One more. Let's bring that down. This time, go ahead and step on the band with one foot. We're going to work on a little bit of balance. So we're going to hold the band, bring the feet together, stand up nice and tall, and bring that leg out and then back in. Let's do that again. Bring it out and back in. Good. It is the Lord who goes before you. Let's work the biceps a little bit. He will be with you. And we've gone over this today. God goes before you. God is with you. There's no need to fear. Let's bring that leg out. Let's work through it. Let's work on the biceps. If you need to rest your arms, you can just keep them down and that's fine. Balancing works on the core. It works on the lower body. It helps us in our memory, helps us in our brain. And again, you can add back those biceps if you want. Go ahead and switch out your legs. So step on that band, bring the feet together and start to move that one leg out. Modification, just tap it out there. Slide out and tap. Progression, just go ahead and lift out there. God's word says, my grace, his grace is sufficient for his power is made perfect in our weakness. That's when God does his best work, when we are weak. He is so strong within us. When we feel broken, that's when he comes on in and fills in all those cracks with his love and his healing. Working that side leg and biceps, and you're doing a fantastic job. I'm so glad we got to work out together today. One more. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and breathed His Spirit in us so we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, born for a time such as this, prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.